circular reference error arises when a formula either refers to the cell it is inserted in or refers to another cell that refers to its own cell. For example, if we were to enter equals A1 plus B1 plus C1 into cell C1, we would get a circular reference warning. This is because we entered a formula into cell C1 that refers to cell C1 as an argument. The problem with formulas that contain circular references is that every time the formula is calculated, it must be calculated again. This could go on infinitely. When you enter a formula with a circular reference, a warning box will appear, as shown here. When this box appears, you can click OK, and Excel will just display a zero as the result of your formula. Or you can click Help, and Excel will display a help screen providing more information about circular references. There are times when circular references are necessary. For example, suppose you owned a company and your employees' salaries were a percentage of net profit. Since net profit is calculated as revenues minus expenses and salaries are an expense, we would run into a circular reference problem. We must know what net profits are before we can calculate salaries, and we must know salaries before we can calculate net profits. In this case, we can use circular references to our advantage. Examine the data here and formulas in Excel. I'm using the Show Formulas feature so you can see what exactly is entered into the cells. As you can see, we have a circular reference problem because net profits in cell B4 is B1 minus B2 minus B3 but cell B3 contains a formula that refers to cell B4. The formulas entered into this worksheet are resolvable formulas, and if the formula is repeated enough times, a desired result can be reached for both cell B3 and cell B4. To solve this circular reference problem, we simply need to enable iterative calculations. To enable iterative calculations, follow these steps. Step 1. Select File and then click on Options. The Excel Options dialog box will appear. Step 2. In the Excel Options dialog box, click the Formulas tab. Step 3. In the Calculation Options group, check the box where it says Enable Iterative Calculation. Now Excel will run the maximum allowed iterations until it reaches a result where salaries are exactly 10% of net profit.